Reverend State Governor Yesomaza Wike has declared that there is an urgent need for the international community to save Nigeria's democracy from imminent collapse by mounting sufficient pressures on the APC federal government to uphold the rule of law and guarantee integrity of the electoral system. Governor Wike also stated that the current flood revenue sharing formula in the country has made development difficult in state as the federal government cut away 53% of national revenue while the 36 states share a meager 22 percent. Governor Wiki spoke on Monday at the Royal Institute of International Affairs, Chatham House, London, where he delivered a lecture on the topic, defining development for river state and steps to sustainable implementation. There is need for the international community to save the country and the democracy for imminent collapse by putting some new pressures on the federal government to uphold the rule of law guarantee the integrity of the electoral system and do socioeconomic justice to all segments of Nigeria society. The fact that not disputed that states bear greater development body than the federal government. However, under the flawed revenue allocation regime, the federal government alone retains 3 percent of national revenue and allocates only 22 percent to the entire tax system of the federation. Honestly, 1 to 2 percent of national revenue is disaggregated among 36 states. What comes to each state is no more than 0.6 percent on the average annum, which by any state of imagination is incapable of funding serious developmental programs for any state. He said that the country is in a serious political and economic decline, pointing out that Nigeria is presently caught up in a serious existential crisis which is self-evident. The of active involvement of key national institutions such as the Independent National Electoral Commission and the police in the rigging of the organizations in the state was not only an affront to democracy, such as constitute a serious invitation to chaos with the starting consequences of unknown dimensions. The governor explained to the international community that despite generating a huge percentage of the nation's resources, River State had suffered untold neglect and deprivation by the federal government over the years. This is a state that produces the wealth of the nation. However, you can hardly talk about the federal presence in the state. There was a no matter what the world. The East West Road would lead to where we have the oil and gas reason, would lead to where we have petrochemical. It's not possible to do by the federal project. The international airport, of course. If you go to Portland, it's not a threat to me. But the state has no presence on the federal government after the state is uh, on site. Governor Wicke lamented the developmental challenges that have bedeviled River State, despite her enormous resources. He said, though previous administrations have played key roles in developing the state, the immediate past amateur administration stagnated development through unbridled theft of the state funds during an era of resource boom. Although the social government tried to move it forward, the NTL of immediate past government were the most regrettable in the state history of the, the state history, and there were no tangible achievement to justify the huge resources that accrued to the state during the period of unprecedented oil boom. He informed that despite the ugly state that the Amici administration left the state, his administration over the last 22 months embarked on the meaningful development projects and programs in the areas of infrastructure, human capital development and security of lives and property. We took up this challenge as a matter of urgent priority to launch the Operation Zero Profit program on our first day in office, which has suddenly required and cleared most of our states and rules of protocols. Therefore, we dedicated which is unprecedented in the history of our budget in the system. We dedicated an unprecedented 65% of our budget to capital expenditure and 35% for the current uh, expenditure. This has never happened in the history of our state. As of today, we have committed over 170 billion naira to construct, upgrade and expand several roads, bridges and jetties and leading of communities and settlements across the entire state. We increased public spending on education from 4.2% to about 10% of the average 
and the place of creation of the success of the revelation and the equipment of 180 basic education and secondary schools across the state to improve the quality of education at that level. And so we have also constructed and upgraded we have the several faculty buildings, lecture halls, and students who study about special institutions. These institutions have expanded access, improved quality, and placed a special institution on the path to produce the skillful and innovative graduates. Accordingly, within the last few years of administration, we have recommended 13 general hospitals in 13 local government areas of the state, established a medical school for the state university to train medical personnel, as well as a started work on the construction of three regional health facilities and a modern child hospital, which was started but abandoned by the previous administration. We recognize the importance of the private sector and the healthcare delivery. Consequently, we have also supported private hospitals and clinics in the state with interest-free revolving rules to enable them to improve their facilities and deliver better services to the public. Governor Wike said despite the man-made challenges confronting his administration, the state government has proved that a committed government can even in a short period impact positively on the state's sustainable development. I want to assure you that our resolve is strong, our commitment to the state and our people remain unchanged and unchangeable. We shall continue to do our best within the limits of available resources to deliver our development priorities to the state on sustainable basis and the health and well-being of our people. Chair of the presentation, Sir Richard Gosner, KCMG, CVO, Lieutenant Governor, Isle of Man, British High Commissioner to Nigeria 2004 to 2007, noted that River State is important to the development of Nigeria and plays a significant role in regional affairs. I mentioned those is because I think it suggests that we not only have the present government of River State here, but we have a man who comes from a line where um, they carry on, once they're in the politics of River State and at the top of the politics of River State, they go on and do other things as well. Responding to questions from the diverse audience, Governor Wiki regretted that the Ogoni cleanup has been politicized by the APC federal government, pointing out that the administration had no intention of executing the project. The day they came to flag over to we were to have a run election. So in order to show the support base of the APC, they put the flag over to go cleanup. After that, they were happened. On foreign scholarship, Governor Wiki reiterated that the state government will pay for final year students in critical science courses, while those studying art courses were advised to return to Nigeria with the river state government footing their bills. If you are within this area, sciences, medical, be assured that we are going to pay the money.